The protagonist of the movie is an arrogant and rude woman named Elizabeth, whose only purpose in life is to marry a rich man and live a lavish lifestyle. She doesn't like socializing, is always mean to others, and worst of all, she's always high on drugs. In short, Elizabeth is the type of woman who should never be around kids. But ironically, she works as a teacher at a local school. The entire day she sleeps on her desk, makes the children watch action movies, and pays no attention to their academics. She has even stored several bottles of alcohol and other illegal things in her desk. As of now, Elizabeth has trapped a rich businessman by her enchanting looks, and they're on the verge of getting married. So she arrogantly quits her job at school, saying she doesn't need it anymore. But when she arrives home, things take a turn for the worse. Her boyfriend and his mother are waiting for her, with rage filled in their eyes. Elizabeth nervously asks if everything is alright, and in response, the man calls her a gold digger. He's now realized that she only wants to marry him for his wealth and status. Elizabeth tries to claim that she really loves him, but the man ignores her and angrily storms out with his mother. Because of this, Elizabeth has to start from the base once again. And since she has no job, she's forced to swallow her pride and rejoin the junior school she quit just today. The following day, Elizabeth's arrival raises some eyebrows at school, in particular, her arch rival. Amy makes fun of her financial condition. However, Elizabeth is in no mood to argue, so she simply leaves. Once she enters the classroom, the students give her a warm welcome, but Elizabeth doesn't care about them either. She simply turns on the TV as usual and goes to sleep. Later, Elizabeth catches up with a fellow teacher and good friend, Lynn, and confides in her that she is planning to undergo breast enhancement surgery. Her plan is to look even more stunning and seduce the rich boys. Following this, we're introduced to the gym teacher of the school, Russell. It's revealed that he has a major crush on Elizabeth, and she knows about it too. However, she always ignores him just because he's not rich. In the next scene, a wealthy and handsome guy named Scott arrives at the school. When Elizabeth learns that he's joined as a substitute teacher, she becomes excited. She quickly approaches him and inquires if he has a girlfriend. Although hesitant by the sudden question, Scott reveals that he recently broke up. He also shows the picture of his ex-girlfriend, and when Elizabeth sees it, she becomes jealous. This is because the ex-girlfriend is voluptuous. Thinking that all men like large breasts, Elizabeth becomes even more adamant on getting those implants. So the very same evening, she goes to the clinic and books an appointment. But unfortunately for her, the doctor reveals the surgery will cost a massive $9,000. When Elizabeth checks her account, she finds that she doesn't even have $50. Devastated, she returns home and starts calling all of her friends and family members for money. As expected, all of them turn her down without even listening to her properly. When nothing works, Elizabeth calls her ex-boyfriend and blackmails him to send her $9,000 or else she'll leak intimate pictures. However, he responds that he doesn't care and simply hangs up the call. The next day, as a depressed Elizabeth sleeps in her class, a student approaches her and asks if she wants to participate in the annual car wash ceremony. Elizabeth rudely says no, but when the student reveals that they earned $7,000 last time, she immediately accepts. Early the next morning, Elizabeth gets dressed in a very seductive dress and heads to the car wash event. A lot of fathers are present there, and Elizabeth takes this as the perfect opportunity to entice them. She washes their cars seductively while also splashing a lot of water on herself. The dads are left in awe seeing her wet and all soaked up. They pay her double the amount without thinking twice. The situation becomes so out of control that even a male cop gets distracted by Elizabeth's beauty and crashes into a car. By the end of the day, she's able to gather around $10,000. Although the funds are collected for the improvement of the library, Elizabeth keeps half of it to herself. Meanwhile, Amy finds out about this and furiously complains to the principal. She asserts that Elizabeth should be expelled from the school at the earliest. However, the principal who is in the toilet says that they cannot take action against Elizabeth unless they have evidence. The following day at school, when Elizabeth learns that a parent-teacher meeting is going to be conducted, she plans something devious. She is going to each of the parents and mentions that she can give extra attention to their children. The cost for this will only be $200. Surprisingly, most of the parents accept the offer and sneakily hand her the cash. A month passes by and Elizabeth has accumulated $8,000. Now she's only a grand short of her surgery. Elizabeth still has her eyes on Scott, but to her dismay, he's become really close to Amy. 
On the other hand, Russell is also trying his best to seduce Elizabeth. Although he's not entirely successful, he has somehow managed to form a good friendship with her. One fine day, Elizabeth learns that the school is organizing a competition for the teachers. The rules are simple. Whichever teacher can make their students get the best grades will win. Elizabeth initially pays little attention to the rules, but when winning the prize is declared to be a whopping $5,000, she immediately decides to participate. Starting the next day, she becomes a strict teacher and orders all the students to open up their books. She stops the movies, gives them regular homework, and punishes the ones who don't pay attention. Unfortunately, the students are unable to cope up with the sudden change, leaving them unprepared and scared for the upcoming state test, which is only two days away. Hence, with no options left, Elizabeth decides to do the one thing she does best, seduce men. That night, she puts on a revealing dress and approaches Carl, a state professor who is in charge of distributing the test papers. She quickly hypnotizes him with her looks and requests that they make love. Carl happily agrees and takes her home. When he heads to the bathroom to get ready, Elizabeth mixes some pills into his drink. The plan works, and as soon as Carl consumes the drink, he is knocked out. Elizabeth then hurriedly goes through his desks and finds the question papers for the upcoming state test. The movie then skips to the result day where it's revealed that all of Elizabeth's students have passed with top grades. After receiving the cash prize of $5,000, Elizabeth immediately goes to the clinic and books the surgery appointment. Now she cannot wait to undergo the procedure and have her breasts enhanced. However, Elizabeth's happiness is short-lived when she discovers that Scott is now dating Amy and the two are deeply in love. She's frustrated that her rival has once again derailed her plans, but she refuses to give up. The following week, the school has planned an excursion and Scott and Amy are chosen to lead it. Elizabeth sees this as the perfect opportunity to get ahead of her rival, so she hatches a devious plan. She cunningly injects some sort of chemical inside an apple and puts it on Amy's desk. To her delight, Amy later picks up the apple and takes a bite out of it without thinking much. The chemical quickly starts doing its job, and by the end of the day, the poor woman is covered in allergies. Seeing her condition, the principal forbids her from leading the excursion and instead chooses the best teacher in the school. Elizabeth. In the next scene, our crafty protagonist takes full advantage of the opportunity and seduces Scott. That night, they secretly make love, and Elizabeth even records it for her pleasure. On the other hand, a depressed Amy is at the school, desperately trying to find some dirt on Elizabeth. When she learns that Elizabeth's desk is locked, she becomes suspicious that something illegal is hidden inside. So Amy replaces her desk with Elizabeth's and calls in a janitor to break open the drawers. To her delight, she finds the question papers that Elizabeth had stolen from Carl. After discovering the incriminating evidence, Amy wastes no time in reporting Elizabeth's cheating to the principal. The latter believes her, but he says that they can only take action if there's a confession from Carl. Enraged, Amy confronts the poor guy at his house and resorts to blackmail. She warns him that if he does not confess, she'll leak all his wrongdoings in the public. Hearing all of this, Carl reluctantly agrees, knowing that his career and reputation are at stake. Back at the tour, Elizabeth has actually started bonding with the students. She teaches them different games, sings for them, and even gifts a boy her undergarments. Russell, who is also there, is greatly impressed by her selflessness. The fun time doesn't last long though as Amy suddenly arrives there and reveals that Elizabeth is going to jail. Hearing this, our cunning protagonist realizes that the test papers in her drawers have somehow been found. However, instead of being worried, Elizabeth simply smiles as she has an ace up her sleeve. That evening, she sends a package to Carl which contains several of his nude photos. It turns out Elizabeth has already anticipated this situation, so she took the pictures the last time they met. Now, she wants Carl to make a false confession. Elizabeth warns him that if he doesn't oblige, she'll publish his pictures to all the major tabloids in the city. In the next scene, we see that everyone is gathered at the principal's office. Amy is also present, eagerly awaiting for Carl to spill the truth. However, to her dismay, Carl sides with Elizabeth and lies that he doesn't know her. After his confession, Elizabeth boldly claims that someone has been using drugs in the school premises. Here we get to know that Elizabeth has already discovered about her desk being switched. Amy opened the lowermost drawer earlier and got a hold of the test papers. However, she never checked the top one, 
which contained drugs and other illegal substances. In no time, the cops arrive at the school and start going through all the desks. When it's Amy's turn, the drugs are found, and hence, she is arrested. She tries to protest that she's innocent, but no one listens to her. In the aftermath of the incident, Scott, who is now all alone, asks Elizabeth out on a date. However, she boldly rejects him, saying that she doesn't like him anymore. She claims that he's a simp who only uses women for his personal benefit. Elizabeth then goes to Russell and passionately kisses him, because he's the one who has always been there for her. As the movie ends, Elizabeth promises her students that she will be a better teacher from now on.